We spoke through. You have come to England. It's Nottingham. It will be good to see Billy again. Pour the meat! Eivor has come to Snottingham. Skull. Make sure the supplies are secured. We may set off at any moment. Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? You old hound, how are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, <laughs> but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Billy? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Billy's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Hemingryal looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Billy and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Billy's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Hemming a Jarl is an ox. So he is. And he'll be pleased a skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come. The swiftest path is by river. But these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. Father himself. I've traveled far, spilling the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! Ready the... Sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. I remember when Billy and I were small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But I do not remember you telling us how you came to serve Hemming a Jarl. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. I suppose I was. Picks ashore! Protect the convoy! Oars! Back us around! The convoy is laid bare! Picks on the ridge! Got the convoy! Convoy remains, Wolfkist. The convoy is unscathed. Hemminger Jarl will be pleased. What do you Back think you're here. doing? I have orders to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Vili and Hemming Yarl hey. will be pleased to see you. Hey. The Pict, you came. 
Welcome. Your son sent for me, Hemingyayal. One of the happier messages I've had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifur. Strong. Healthy. It warned me to hear Billy's name again. In coming to England, I thought I'd left the best of Norway behind. Uh, he often thinks on the old country as well. Seems to think his life was simpler then. Uh, it may be he is right. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stormybird, should any Pict escape. It will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. Bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You're not slurring, Billy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorpe. Trick V and A4 have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? You can have your glory, Billy. I'm here to support you and your father. Such humility. Where is the Eivor I once knew? Old times, then. And new alike. Fight, Hemingersons! Bring victory today! For tomorrow, we feast! Light the arrows! May they burn with flame unbridled! The pig chief hides behind his men like a cow. I have no doubt he's... Look for him on the other ground. I will have his head. My sides again!
locked from the other side. Injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. my son all the more, but he lacks the trust of our Thanes, and I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son, he thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Billy who summoned me, or you, Heminger? I thought you would come faster if it was Vili's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it. Of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trigvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. I have known Billy since we were small. He's bold and courageous, and your warriors love the man. The nobles should choose him. Your sight is clear and your mind is sharp. Let that guide your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for Kinder Downfall soon. Ride with him. And talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer. You are come ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right, but if I don't faint at the sight of them, you've oversold the view. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well, I think. You taught me how to fight empty air, Billy, and trees and snowdrifts and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once, and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who's had one too many blows to the head. Yeah! 
That tower there. It recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule feast. I'll have you remember. It's good to ride with you again, Arshtek. I told you, that was going to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Yeah. A head soaked with mead and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen? Is that what you call your house? Ah! <laughs> 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 Stonebur, was Trigve not sent there by father to help? We must go. What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. You'll be safe with him!
please leave me be. Not me. Oh, my dear Hilda. Why? I cannot live without you. Nothing you can. We need to clear a path. There's nothing I you can get do the now. man, Abor. Get to safety. You carry the woman. Nifelheim will have to wait. You are staying here today. <coughs> oh, thank to your father. Hold on to me. I can get you out. I thought I might have to rescue you, Willy. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Willy. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same arse stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinderdunfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Eminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Billy wasn't taking it well. Vili lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Vili myself. The downfall is beautiful. Well, where is he? found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard you singing. Your crow's cackle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the Picts that worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. But look at my father. A battle-worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I would use just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man.
Billy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the Corpse Hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You are to be Jarl, Billy. Your father expects it. The people of Snuttinghamshire expect it. I only want sun on my skin and an axe in my hand. Ale and adventure. Not the staid life of a Jarl. You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor. I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England, and you are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come fast! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the longhouse! I must see him before he goes. Eivor. To see you both together again like this. It recalls days long past. Makes me feel young again. Hold on to that feeling, and take it with you to the Hall of the Slain. You have become a great warrior, Eivor. A warrior and a leader. Worth, worth song and verse. I had many good teachers, Hemingway, y'all. You chief among them. I beg of you now. Let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. I watched you grow. Dirty haired boy, swinging sticks and running through the mud, dreaming of glory. I, I am proud of what you have become, son, <laughs> and I am. of what you will become, no matter I, uh, I, uh, uh. Father, Vili. We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of this shire.
nobles have begun to arrive. Trukvi needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. A worthy pyre for Hemminger Jarl. This journey to the hills will be heralded by roaring flames. Eivor. Drengur. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemingur Jarl. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trukvi. I pledged my life's oath to Hemingur Jarl. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the shire to see. You've done well, Trigger. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later. To save you from them once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthorpe's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He is a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have the time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> it was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of Hemming a Jarl. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Hemming had desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It's a good idea. But let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. You are the wolf-kissed one. The raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice having a left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jotun. Before the pyre is lit. Follow. Come, creatures. You are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingriart with ale and open arms. Do you 
have the gift of foresight, Seer. Can you argue what is to come? I see what need be seen, need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Hemingway Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. Volva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the gods' wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trukvi, there's no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. This is the summit. To seek an answer, I should clear my mind and still my heart. flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's Hall? I will in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All-Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. I struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too, in death, am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Heminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory, as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We are only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my faith, then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. This is not how I remember you. You left me too soon, Hemingway. Your shire's fate is uncertain. I trusted you to make the right decision. I still do. You lay warriors. Never You did. You did. That is why my words should land through. Trust your judgment. You pushed me, Heminger. I never intended this. <laughs> Have no regrets, A4. 
You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up? This is an excellent shield, Soleva. Gunnar's craft never disappoints. And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good. But it needs a touch of grandeur. Something personal for your father. A sigil, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear? Did he not wield it at Ulkerthorp? He lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The odds are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. This must be the cave Billy mentioned. Who would live here? Solitude, living in a hole such as this. Beard. You are a difficult man to find. Uh. Heminga Jarl is dead. Mm. I was told you are a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heminga Jarl. The stones. Heminga Jarl possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same?
Yes. Hemminger's heart was steady, as it was large. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? How will you remember him? By his unrivaled prowess on the battlefield. Ah, Gunknir then. Odin's faultless spear, a symbol of power. Is this your choice? I... By his wisdom... The web of Wyrth then. Nine lines that write our fates. Is this what you... I... By his determination to keep his clan safe and his people celebrated. The mark of vague, Visir. Sights never lost. Is this your decision? Yes, I choose this one. I will begin. How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heming Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place. That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. Heminger will be pleased with our gift. I wonder if Vili has found his spear. This is an outrage! Our strong feelings for Heming come with much grief. Festive. Too festive, and too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyres lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trukvi. I will do what I can to calm things. <laughs> They are going to kill him. I told him not to do it. Now he's come out, you dung eating rat. Do it. What madness is this? You dare wash our beloved Hemingen! I asked you a question. There's a Saxon within. One stupid enough to try sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. Now he cowers behind a locked door. I only did right by his immortal soul. You will get what is right for you. Calm yourselves, all of you. I will speak with him, unmask his true intentions. Get that stain out here now. People are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here on your own before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please. There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. <laughs> You've got the key! 
Use it! You'll pay for your wrongs, desecrator! Enough. Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Heminger. I swear. I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Was it your Christian holy water? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord. Hemminger was never one to weep over a bit of rain. Neither should you. He insulted our noble dead. Hemminger would laugh at the very idea. What is this boda you speak of? A gift without price, fit for a Jarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame. Help! Fire! Save my boda, it burns! Too late for your... your boda. Ah, balls. I dragged it all the way from Rus. If you drink enough, ale is a fine fix to any... Very true, very true. Join me if you desire. A bit of drink in the belly never hurt. Famous fighting roosters. Dragons with mighty claws. Save. Thank you, mighty Thor. Uh, when you sober up, order seems to have been restored. Now to trick me. I've calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heminger would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trukvi. With time. Yes, it will. The old thing is tomorrow, and the Jarl must be chosen. I should speak with Sunimer about this. 